Hey guys, what we're saying. So in this video, we're just going to be going through three things that you should be doing outside of your training to help your knee heal faster and optimize your health kind of comes hand in hand. So yeah, the first is backwards walking. So in forwards walking, the primarily the primary muscles which are working are the hamstrings, the glutes and the calves. Also, in an injured knee, in an arthritic knee, in a knee that's not working properly, our quads do not activate the same way that in a healthy knee does. So when we're walking backwards, this has actually been shown to activate in the same way. Also, bigger quads equals less knee pain. So if we're doing the backwards sled every day, if we're doing the dead mill every day where we're getting this resistance and we're building stronger quads without too much of the muscle, well, too much of the tissue breakdown. So we're not going to be having that eccentric load. So we're not going to be breaking down the tissue. We're just going to be having the short range concentric movement. So we're getting loads of blood flow to the knees, which is what the body ne needs to heal. Um, so yeah. Also, backwards walking just reduces knee pain in general, which has been shown by, I think it was Chen et al. 2021. Look that up. <laughs> Might not be exact. Um, okay, awesome. And this is why. So each component on backwards walking acts as a shock absorber from the feet to the knees to the quads. When you're walking backwards, this is shock absorbing rather than when we're walking forwards. This is putting pressure on our knees. Um, yeah, so it decreases the forces on our new knee joint. And also improves quad active requirement and activation. So, like I said, in unhealthy knees, our quads aren't firing as much as someone with un with healthy knees. So we need to be able to get that backwards walking in, get that blood flow, get that activation on the quads, so then they can work properly. Um, so we're waking the muscles up, pre preparing it for further strengthening on the other days. So if you've got training on the monday we still want to be doing this on the tuesday so then we go back into another leg day on a wednesday or thursday and the muscles are still getting that work done every day they're not switched off over those few days and our knees gotten worse so yeah it provides blood flow with no tissue breakdown i've covered that so yeah second one is nutrition and it's obvious so i talk a lot about training like 90 percent of my content is about training but nutrition is just as important i'd probably say that Training is maybe 60-70% of the work, and then nutrition, sleep, supplements, all this other kind of stuff makes up the other half. But less processed foods equals less information. So some of my clients have literally come to me after 30 days of eating a non-processed food diet and been like, I actually think this is the reason why my knee pain is really, really decreasing fast. Um, everyone that has gone with my recommendations because obviously not every client does you can't force them to but everyone that has has been like yeah this has been a game changer for me and whole foods have better recovery so when you're doing your training when you're putting your stimulus in your body we need these whole foods whole foods to be able to recover better and just keep our body functioning right our brain power our body just feeling good and when you're going into those sessions if you're not recovered properly you're just going to be damaging more stuff so yeah and then three is maximizing recovery. So that is partly nutrition. That is part of recovery. But these are three which I think are, are not covered in the nutrition. So sleep seven to eight hours every single night. No excuses. This is absolutely crucial to recover properly. It's non-negotiable that we get seven to eight hours. Even, even if you have to sleep in a little bit longer, if you have to go to bed earlier, do it. Switch your screens off. Sweet, sw dim your lights before bed stop eating a couple hours before because we need this sleep to be able to rebuild our body we're doing all this work to our tissues in the session if we then don't sleep properly and we wake up and we go back to training you, it's gonna hurt like we need to let our knee heal and rest and recover you might sometimes wake up in the morning and be like wow my knee feels better and then like six hours later you'll be like okay it's aching a bit it's, it's because when you first wake up that's when you've just done the recovering so yeah stop eating and drinking a couple of hours before bed come off your phone wear blue light blockers dim your lights those are my best advice for getting a good night's sleep also with the epsom salt baths kind of come into play there where it's like when you have magnesium in your body late at night and you have a hot bath it's really good to help you get to sleep faster it's also great for tissue recovery and lowering lowering stress um so yeah getting outside more as well so humans are originally made to spend the majority of our time outside and modern life especially since after covid is just designed for us to all stay inside and i fall victim to this i haven't been outside much today i've been to the gym 
went to the shop. But other than that, just been in my room working, and that's how modern life is designed. I need to get back on the, the getting outside, getting out for walks, backwards walking, because that's when my knees feel best. That's when my brain feels the healthiest. We need sunlight in our eyes. We need to be outside, especially in the morning times. So, yeah, that's just a quick one today. Before I just run through three quick things that we can do outside of our training. Usually I go a bit deeper on these, but it's just something quick to help you guys. So, yeah. Also, sign up for my free five-day workshop. It's going to be running February 5th till February 10th, Monday to Friday. And it'll just be five live trainings going through everything you need to recover from the injury. Nutrition, training, my story, Q&As, everything you need will be in there. So if you've got knee pain and you're not signing up for this, like you're not putting enough effort, you're not going to get out of knee pain. The people that are going to show up to this are going to be the ones to get out of knee pain because they are the ones that actually want to do it. The more you put into the world, the more you give, the more you get. So come to it, ask me questions, um, sh- show up to every single one. And I I love to help people. So if you come there and you're like, oh, this, 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 and this, and I see you're really excited about it, and I see you're asking me loads of questions, and I'm going to be willing to help you more. I'm going to be in your Instagram DMs. I'm going to be giving you training tips, all this kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah, sign up for it. First link in the description down below. Hope this video helps. Like I said, just a quick one. If you've got any questions, just drop them down in the comments down below, and I'll be able to answer them. But, yeah, quick.